In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a server for this MMORPG uh, called uh, Ragnarok Online. So this is a South Korean um, RPG uh, to be played completely, you know, online originally. But in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to, um, you know, how to use the emulator and how to join the emulator and how to play in LAN, as you can notice in the intro of the video where I was playing in the LAN. Um, how to create accounts and stuff like that. So this game basically was released in 2002, and it has been uh, it has suffered a lot of updates, obviously, throughout the years. And I honestly, I had no idea this game existed until like two days ago. So, um, but I just Google um, the graphics of this game just. I was pretty interested about this game because uh, the graphics look very, um, they look actually kind of good, um, especially considering it's a 2002 game. Um, you know, I think that the one, the one thing that actually stands out of this game is that the backgrounds and all, all the world is completely in 3D, but the characters, the monsters, and you know, the characters themselves are um, very high detail sprites. So that uh, mixture between sprites and 3D, uh, I, I think it gives this game kind of a charm. So um, yeah, um, this tutorial is going to be very simple because the package is already uh, assembled, so you don't have to do a lot of things. So basically, um, uh, so basically this this is going to be the the game. Actually, once you download it, I'm going to create a, a thread in my website so you can download the files. Um, I, I haven't even created the thread yet, but once the video is up to, you know, it's up in, the, in YouTube, the thread is going to be created. So you're going to go to gravisoftnet.com, go to Hacking Games, and obviously find the thread of the game, and there you will be able to download the files. So um, also, I'm going to mention the, um, the emulator that we're going to use today. It's called R Athena. Um, you should just Google. That's an emu a free emulator for, um, for this particular game, ratina.com. And this is the place where you will have to, uh, if you want to find um, you know, uh, further information about this emulator, you can obviously log in into the forum and stuff. I am, and I can imagine that you will find whatever your needs are. So once you download the files, you'll have something like this. This is going to be the, the stuff you'll, you'll encounter at first. Uh, basically, um, what you're going to do is uh, obviously go into the emulator. And uh, here, I, I read about this game, and, and, I, and I was able to identify that until 2010, uh, the game is called pre-release or something like that, and after that, uh, the game suffer uh, you know another update, and it's called uh, renewal. So you can choose whatever version of the game you want to play. So in this case, we're gonna use the renewal version. So um, just use this and just uh, select all this crap. I mean, um, sorry about that. You go to client side first go to renewal emulator and we're gonna select all this crap you know uh, we're gonna copy all this crap and we're gonna go back inside the client um, which is clean kro client once you extract it you'll find something like this and uh, here you're just gonna paste it and override so once you override and post um, you will be ready to go uh, just give me a second here I'm going to do something. All right, so um, the client is already prepared. So now that the client is done, uh, we're going to go and go to the first step, the emulator. Um, we were interested in the renewal version, so we're going to go into renewal. And uh, here, basically, what you're going to do is go and run server bat. Um, no, sorry about that. First, we're going to go into the uh, open server. We have to open the server first, obviously. Go to the third step and open the server 64 bits. And um, you'll find this little flag here. Just right-click it and go into run server, and the flag should, be, should turn in green. 
And once you've done that, just now we're going to go in back into the first step, emulator, renewal, and now we can obviously go and run, uh, run server. So now these uh, free windows will show up. Uh, first time you open these free windows, it's obviously going to ask you to open the ports and stuff. So we're going to uh, minimize these free windows. And um, after that, we are pretty much ready to go. You don't have to do anything else. If you're planning on um, playing this, uh, this game in LAN, uh, you know, not only your computer, but in a local area network with other computers, just keep in mind that the, the computer that is actually hosting the server uh, will have to uh, identify its local IP. So, as always, open a CMD uh, window and type ipconfig. And uh, here, I identify your local IP. This is going to be the IP of the computer that's going to host the server. And uh, all the other computers, all the clients that are going to join this computer, will have to use this uh, local IP as well, so they connect to your computer, so to, to your uh, server. So just copy this this um, this IP. We're going to copy this. And once we copy this IP every single client that it's willing to join the server will have to edit its client so it's game so you're going to go into the game uh, folder you know this is the client the actual game and we're going to go into data folder and we're going to um, you know open this little file with notepad or whatever uh, you know notepad plus plus whatever program you have and uh, you just want to uh, type here the local IP that we just identified. So every single client will have to put the local IP of the server. This is the server computer, so it doesn't need to have this. Yeah, you you can have it, but uh, it's the same. You just put one two seven zero zero one because this is actually the computer that is hosting. But in the beginning of the video, as you as you saw that I was playing with two computers. The second computer will have to put the local IP of the server. So, in this case, it was this one. So, all remember, all the other computers will have to have the same uh, IP. So, once you've done the modifications, to save it, and uh, we're pretty much ready to go. So, um, another thing that you have to know is how to create accounts. Uh, in order to create accounts, um, uh, you'll have to, you know, basically. Uh, execute uh, the game so we're gonna go in here into the game client rage uh, patched open it you can start by with an admin account which is admin one two one two three four five six you'll be the admin here you're basically a game master I don't really know about any commands of this game. You have to look for them, uh, you know, in, in the page that I just gave you in the beginning of the video. But now I'm going to teach you how to create uh, actual accounts. In order to create accounts, you just have to open the client once again. And when it asks you for the ID and password, in the ID, you'll have to put whatever name you want for the account uh, with an underscore and a an, and, and, uh, and letter M. And then the password, whatever password you want. So I'm going to show you an example of how to create an account here. So let's say I want to create an account name, um, I don't know, Optimus Prime. So it's the first time I want to create this, underscore M. So as you can see, we were able to create the account just fine, just by adding underscore M. Obviously, the next time you want to log into that account, you have to just type Optimus Prime or whatever name without the underscore M. So this was a really quick tutorial on how to play this neat game. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you try it out. You have some fun. And obviously, make sure to go into my Discord channel. Uh, we can talk about stuff there. If you don't have, if you have problems, just remember to. Um, 
to go into my Discord channel to talk about those and also um, go to the forum in order to download the files. So um, I hope you like this video tutorial. See you next time. Bye.